Hello, welcome to my channel. I covered an app called Easy Poser on my previous video. It is used to create character pose to assist artists in their drawings. But that is for smartphone platform. The program I am going to talk about today is also free to download, it's made for computer platform and it's called Design Doll. This is an amazing program created quite a long time ago. And a lot easier to use than Easy Poser in my opinion. Unfortunately, not a lot of people know about this program. So I make a video and hope it helps more people to understand this app. Let's go straight to the program. This is what it looks like when you load it up. Gray background and a gray character in the middle. Navigation is simple, hold your right mouse button to rotate the camera. Middle mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the space bar and drag left mouse button to pan around. Let's move to the right panel, there is a model layer and this is where you adjust the character. The one on the left is eye icon. Click on it to hide and unhide the character. The first one on the right is the posing mode, we will get back to it later. The second one on the right is to move or rotate the whole character. Click on each arrow to adjust it correspondingly. The third one is to adjust character's body ratio. You will see a few black dots on the head, arm, hips, and leg. You can hold and pull to make each part longer or shorter. You will also see some blue rings. You can hold and pull them left or right to make each part thinner or thicker. If you want to fine tune it even further, you can click the advanced adjustment mode below. In this mode you have more rings to adjust each part. Same thing applies to the hand. The fourth icon is to model each part of the body, separate into head, chest, stomach, arms, and legs. This is where you make the character into a man, woman, child, or alien. Each part has a ring slider to adjust the intensity. You can also combine different shapes and see what comes out. The fifth icon is hand slider. This is where you decide how each finger bends, left hand and right hand. If you are lazy, you can also load from the library directly and use some presets. The last one is the foot slider. It's basically the same as the hand slider. At any point that you think you messed up the model, there is always a reset button on each icon to set it back to default setting. Before moving to another panel, there is one more thing to mention. If you right click the model layer, you have many more options such as adding a new box or model, copy and paste model, delete the current model and such. Now the right panel is done, let's move to the bottom. There is a small tab with the arrow. Expand it, and you will have many different types of material.
You can also create your own by clicking the setting icon at the end. Look to the left and you will see a black circle with some light, this is where you adjust the lighting direction. The easiest method to determine the direction is to look at the character's cast shadow on the ground. Before moving to the next one there is one more function worth mentioning, which is the display simple form icon. This will make the character into a skeleton shape. Very much like the base shape that professional artists start with. Moving on the left, expand it, and you will have a second camera. You can edit the perspective of this camera, and it is separate from the default view. It is quite helpful to have the second view open while posing. Now that we got an understand of every panel and what each icons do, we can move on to the posing step. Go back to the first icon on the right panel. The character will display seven dots in the body. You can move these dots and have the character pose accordingly. Beside these seven dots, there are also five hidden muscles that you can move, these are chest, hips, shoulder, elbow, and knee. Nothing will display if you click on these parts, but you can hold and drag them around. If you click on the head, neck, hand, and foot. A sphere icon will pop up that allows you to rotate the parts. Now that you understand how to move each part, next is some of my tips so you can quickly make the pose you want in a few minutes. The simple rule is to pose from the bottom up. First, for standing, walking, or running pose, determine the balance of the body. For example, if the character is only touching the ground with one foot, move the whole body to that side by drag and select all the upper body dots. Move it forward if the character is walking or running ahead. Next is to drag the foot to the correct position. and adjust the knee, so it's facing the right direction. Above the leg will be the hip. Rotate the hip muscle, so it naturally blends with the thigh. Next up, drag both the head and chest dot together. Move the chest afterward based on how much the spine bends. And move the chest muscle if needed. Up to this part the pose is almost done. Drag the hand to your liking, correct it by moving the elbow. and fine-tune it by adjusting the shoulder. Lastly, rotate the hand, foot, and head, bend the finger if needed. This should be the easiest step of all. After you've done all these, carefully examine the pose and try to make it more natural, check the balance of the character.
If you are making a lay down pose, you need to rotate the whole character first before doing anything. And follow the steps just like a standing pose. I highly recommend practice as much as you can by mimic some real human pose from photos. It will give you a better understanding of using the app. There are still a lot of functions yet to be discovered. I only cover the things that you need to know to get started with the app. Feel free to play around, get comfortable before starting to use it. I hope you find this video helpful. Feel free to let me know if you have any recommendation. I will see you in the next video.